Okay, in this tutorial, we will be manufacturing and modeling um, a 3D printed phone holder. And you can see you got two different angles there. Um, and these are the measurements that we will be using to do that. So, firstly, file new. You will have three options. If you can just click on part. Um, your side works with maybe an updated version. One of the key things that you need to check is to make sure it is on MMGS. Um, and then from there, you'll be clicking on to your front plane. Click on sketch. And then click on sketch. Your next job is to create a line. And go across and then if you can just press smart dimension and make this 14 and then I'm also going to create a line and if you look very carefully I'm going to start it from you'll see like little orange dots you're going to click on the orange dot I'm going to click it anywhere. If you click on the Smart Dimension tool, you can click on this line and click on this line, and it lets you choose a uh, angle. You want to make this 80 degrees. What you also need to do is just make sure that you've got this as well. On 15, maybe less than that. So you can double click it and you can change it to 13. And then we will be doing something very similar on this side. Now, if you look carefully, as I'm doing this, it'll snap to indicate that it's parallel to this one here. So if you just press escape on your keyboard, you can tell they will be parallel. Okay, now if you want to double check, you can just make sure you've got 100 degrees, that's absolutely fine. And then what we then need to do is click on smart dimension and make this about okay next job is to add some fillets so if we use the sketch fillet tool click on the two lines and you'll see it'll give you a preview you want to make this roughly just double check four maybe make it less than that three times about right press the green tick and you'll see it's done that there for you you may want to do the same on the opposite side as well The green tip. I'm now going to. If I just. Okay, so the next bit, we're going to use our, our line tool again. Hover over the orange dot, move across. You want to get to roughly about 10. You can double check it with your smart dimension to make sure it is. To make it and. Use the line tool again. Start it from the orange dot and then scroll all the way down. Now what you want to do is make it parallel to this. Okay. 
Okay. Just press the escape button. If you click on this measurement here, this should also be 35. Use the line tool, go across, we need to make this roughly 15, and go across, and we want to make this 13. Now, if I just press escape on the keyboard, I can just double check to make sure this is 15, not quite. And this should be 13. Okay, so you can see now the outline of the shape that we're trying to create. If you now click on the Offset Entities button, and then click on this, if you just press Reverse, and you'll see now the distance. If you put in 5mm, or if you put in 10mm, you can see it's start to change shape. You want it to be on 4 millimeters, and then press the green tick once you're happy with it. You're going to now go across and just join those features together. So where the blue line should touch that part there, and then you should now see something that looks like that. What you can then do is start adding some curves. So if I zoom in, click on the sketch fillet, click on this and that. I'm happy with 3 mil. Click on those two surfaces there. And I think it should be okay. So if I press the green tick and then go to features, extrude, you can either drag it across. You want this to be to 40 millimeters. and just press the green tick and there we go okay so you will need to save this file so if I go file save as and I'm going to save this as phone stand and your initial on there as well Now, please. Okay, so the final feature that we need to add to this uh, stand is some sort of keyring loop. So if I go on to this side, click on this surface here, we're going to make a sketch onto this surface. Now, once you click on it, it goes, it shades into a dark blue color. Just press the sketch button. If you right click and click on normal too, it goes into this format here for you. Now, all we're going to do then is create a circular tool. Go to the midpoint, move across, and just make a circle somewhere like that. Press the smart dimension. If we make this and then use the offset entities button click on the edge of the circle change this to 4 distance of 4 just press the green 
any regular T now, we're going with something like this. Let's do that again. Click on the circle, press the green tick, press the line tool, and then you can just literally hover over it and then shade it in. Press escape on your keyboard. Okay. And then you see now all I have to do then is just delete this bit here and then when I created this surface here. So there's a line here, there's a line across, there's that curve, and then you've got this feature here. All you need to do now is extrude this piece. Um, and as you can see, it's not what we want it to do, so, no, so we need to flip it. So if you press this button here, it reverses the, the section. We don't need it for 10 mil, we can probably go with just having it as 6 mil. Then I want it to be merged onto this body. And if we just press the green tick, and then there we go. Now, the last thing we could do is just add a fillet onto this here. And if I just change this to 2mm, probably make it less than that, 1mm. Okay, now I'm happy with that. I can then literally just press File, Save, File, Save. So firstly, save it as a SOLIDWORKS part. So I'm going to save it as a SOLIDWORKS part. And then, File, Save As. And then you, what you want to do is you want to save it as a STL file. Now, this, the reason why you need to save it as this particular file is, is because we're going to now take it to another software, which has to be in that format. Just press yes to it. You'll get a box that will appear, and just press yes to that, and that's it. There you go.